All right, so today I want to talk about the side effects uh, that you can have on your bike uh, when you put these aftermarket exhausts on, uh, particularly the side effects I had on my bike. So I want to talk about the um, why, the, what the side effects were, why they happen, and uh, yeah, so uh, welcome to my channel where we talk about bikes uh, and Bible verses. And um, as usual, we'll have a Bible verse at the end, so uh, please stick around for that. Uh, I must say, you know, this is the exhaust I have, it is specified as a race only. You can't get a baffle for it, um, and uh, you know, there's no restriction. Um, and it is a cat back, it's not a full exhaust, it's, the catalytic converter is still there, and it's a cat back exhaust and I have a full tune so if you might say oh, I'm having problems because it's not tuned I've got a Power Commander 5 with a full dyno tune but sometimes when you put things on your bike uh, it affects other areas which you can't tune your weight out of um, you know tuning is not the answer for everything there's some things you put on your bike and you just can't tune your way out of that So. <clears throat> the effects I was having on my bike uh, was for one the very poor idling and so when I would just like sometimes if I give it a bit of a throttle jerk maybe just to take off quickly uh, it'll cut out you know it'll I think it's leaning out or something to, and the bike would just cut out and stop not only is that dangerous uh, you know in peak hour traffic I'm just trying to go and the bike just cuts out um, but these bikes also, I don't know what it is, Triumph, once this happens, um, they don't want to start up again. It's, it's, it's actually pretty hard to start up. Uh, so that's the biggest problem. The second one, the second one is the abruptness um, of the throttle. So when I'm going about, I don't know, 100 kilometers uh, or, or even just, you know, 60 or 80 and it's a very on-off abruptness uh, I believe is also from the free-flowing exhaust and um, the third one reason which I always complain about is this is the smell it's like a very dry exhaust smell and sometimes it's just too overwhelming um, and I just I hate it I just feel that it's, it's ch I'm being choked by these fumes which smell toxic the reason is uh, because of back pressure now as I said there's a lot of contention um, with back pressures some people say you know you got to have back pressure in your exhaust uh, and other people say you don't need any back pressure at all you know back pressure is always bad so I'll explain to you what it is um, if you were to do an experiment where you take in a certain amount of air in your lungs and then you open your mouth wide and you let all that air out um, across a fixed time say two seconds so you take like I don't know, half a lung full of air or maybe a full lung full right open your mouth let that air out over two seconds all right it's a fixed time now do that same experiment same amount of air and same amount of time Take a lung full of air, but the, but the only difference is blow it out through a straw, right? But you still got to blow it out within two seconds, so the time is the same and the amount of air is the same. What's different? The difference is the force that you need to put on your lungs to push the air out, right? And you'll also notice that the air is coming out a lot faster through a, you know, it's a lot more forceful. The air is strong enough to blow things off the table. That's the difference compared to when your mouth was wide open. When your mouth was wide open, it, it, there was no force behind it, right? That pressure on your lungs, you can think of as back pressure. That's the force of the piston. It's a restricting the piston, okay? But <coughs> that force or velocity of the air is what's used for scavenging. What scavenging is, 
is it's like it follows the burst of air that's coming out and it sucks um, it's used to suck out exhausts um, out from the piston or even from um, other pistons like on later cycles even maybe in the same piston uh, but on a later cycle as that exhaust is you know flowing through the pipe um, it's sucking out it's got like uh, what they call a negative pressure it's like when you you know a big truck goes past you really fast it gives you it sucks things from behind it um, it's the same thing but it sucks out the exhaust out of out of the chamber for maybe other um, pistons now you tell me which one is more efficient is it the one where there's no back pressure so the pistons can go up and down more freely or the one where there is a back pressure on the pistons but the, the chamber the chamber is clean of exhaust fumes okay so no back pressure it's easy for the pistons to go up and down but but the exhaust can remain stagnant inside the combustion chamber so that's also not efficient so in both ways there's inefficiencies whether you got no back pressure or you got a lot of back pressure so you need to work out which one is better but the problem is that when you come to high ribs when there is a lot of force um, it's too restrictive so when you're at high rev um, open throttle you don't need the back pressure in a restricted exhaust because there's already back pressure because of the volume and so it's a balance it's a balance between back pressure and flow uh, I have a suspicion though that some exhausts are just so wide that the upper limit goes way beyond what the engine is capable of but what suffers is the lower limit you know it runs badly at a lower rpm uh, and that's why original exhausts oem manufactured exhausts have like an x up valve or a servo servo butterfly which uh, is a valve that opens and, and closes the throttle uh, the restriction on the exhaust based on the current current operating operation of it so that's what back pressure is i decided that I could try and maybe induce some back pressure so I made a modification to my exhaust I went and bought some I think it was one and a quarter pipe uh, 42 mil I cut out a little piece I slotted it and I made like a little restriction almost like a Venturi type thing I, I don't know if if I followed the exact exact definition of a Venturi but you know I made this uh, little thing and um, I put it into my exhaust uh, to induce a bit of back pressure and I'm actually running that now and I have driven about a hundred kilometers with it I went to work uh, with it and it's it's improved definitely improved like the lower end torque it's noticeable um, the smell has has almost disappeared that sort of off stagnant exhaust smell but at the same time I do feel that I lost top end now mind you I haven't tuned it but still um, you know when you got the exhaust butterfly when you go like half throttle it's fully open which is better than what I've got now I've got a fixed you know like 40% restriction so um, I, I I can imagine that I'll have lost some um, flowing of the exhaust and reduced top end power. Um, the other thing, a, a, a symptom of good back pressure is when you get that crackling, um, that, that little mild crackling of the exhaust. And what's happening there is because there's good suction um, and there's an overlap between intake and exhaust, you're, you're sucking out all the exhaust and you're sucking out a little bit of the air fuel mixture so you get that I would say like it's a healthy crackle um, unlike the artificial misfire which you know these new cars are putting in like um, Hyundai and, and 
Audi and BMW and they're putting this artificial misfire you know they're they're they're, they're firing on the exhaust stroke um, and and that just sounds stupid and annoying um, and that is different to the natural crackle of an exhaust with good scavenging so I just wanted to point that out so that's everything I wanted to tell you about um, back pressure how it works how it, it a bad exhaust affected my bike um, so you know you're just aware when you buy a bike I mean I bought this bike with the exhaust and the tune and, and everything on it um, and you know the guy was hinting he was dropping hints about issues that he was having with the exhaust um, but you know with every every bike I buy uh, I learned something new and I would have thought that I would learn everything that I needed to know with my last bike uh, my ZX6 because it had so many problems uh, but after buying this bike you know uh, turns out that there's more that I learned um, and that is just you know trying to trying to deal with this this issue with the exhaust and back pressure uh, and things like that so I just want to finish up with a Bible verse uh, and that's from Ecclesiastics uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 and it says the end of something is better than the beginning patience is better than pride you know when someone says something to you and you disagree uh, that is pride you know showing your disagreement um, is pride uh, but patience is better than pride it takes patience to just you know overlook what this person's saying even if they're wrong even if they're carrying on um, acting unfairly um, you'll feel better to just uh, let it go you know even if they're wrong even if they're even if they're acting unreasonable it's always still better to just not answer back and uh, just be patient practice patience something that I think uh, this world needs so yeah that's um, all I've got for today I hope it helped um, you know what to look out for when you're buying a bike or maybe you want to put an exhaust on there if you like this content please hit the like um, and subscribe uh, make a comment and take it easy and ride safe